With commercial style manual frothing, this bean to cup espresso machine gives you the ability to froth to a super fine milk texture for incredible mouthfeel and latte art pours. And this machine makes the espresso preparation for milk drinks quick, easy, and customizable. Beyond that, it's a single serve coffee genius, grinding whole beans fresh for every cup and even makes true Americanos with a single touch. Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love with an in-depth look at the Gaja Magenta Plus. You know, to make great coffee and espresso, you've gotta start with whole beans ground fresh right before brewing, and that's what this machine does for you. So isn't it about time to ditch that expensive pre-ground and wasteful plastic capsules? Treat yourself to better taste that's incredibly convenient and customizable, so you get cafe quality drinks just the way you want them. This machine is the perfect solution for those who want good coffee made quick, but also like milk drinks like lattes, cappuccinos, and flat whites. The commercial style manual steam wand gets you froth quality beyond what's possible on machines that do the frothing for you. You can have that silky smooth texture, or if you like hotter than normal milk drinks, you can do that as well. Later in this video, I'll take you through how to make a flat white on this machine. It's one of my favorite drinks and very easy to make on the Magenta Plus. Now, if you've never frothed manually before, know that with a little practice, it's really easy and the results, they are amazing. Plus, we've got a fantastic video, which I'll link down in the description to teach you the basics and have you frothing like a pro in no time, right through to pouring latte art. So the basics on this slim performer, the Magenta Plus uses a simple yet powerful color touchscreen interface. There, you'll select from four drink options plus steam and hot water. So on the first screen, you've got espresso, coffee, and steam. Then on the next one, it's espresso lungo, that Americano, and hot water. Now, those all come programmed to traditional volumes, but you can customize to suit your taste. That's one of my favorite things about the machine. When you select a drink to make, you are presented with all the parameters, so you'll know how much coffee will be brewed. You can change the temperature in three levels and change the coffee strength in five levels or set to the scoop icon to use pre-ground coffee. Typical use for that is making the occasional decaf drink. Just add a scoop of decaf and a doser up top and use that for any of the drinks on the machine. Except for the Americano, any coffee beverage can be made two at a time. The Magenta does it right using two grind cycles. Just touch the upper right area to get to two cups in the display. The single cup settings get doubled up and the Magenta does that second grind cycle automatically. Machines from most other manufacturers, they're just gonna push more water through the same amount of ground coffee. Do two cups on those and they will be weaker and potentially over extracted resulted in bitter flavors. With a separate grind cycle for each cup, you get the same strength and no over extraction on the Magenta Plus. Now, Gaja has really simplified the programming on the Magenta. If you change any of the settings for a drink, after it's made, you'll have the option to save those changes. Now, do nothing or touch return, and your changes will be for just that drink. But touch that check mark, and any changes you made are saved permanently until you change them again. I've used a lot of bean to cup automatics, and I really like the way that works, and you will too. It's super easy programming, but very convenient for those times when, you know, maybe you could use a stronger or larger cup of coffee. Now, if you're not familiar with bean to cup automatics, here's how they work. Just load with water and whole beans of your choice up top. When you select your drink, those beans are ground fresh by a high quality ceramic burr grinder that's adjustable to suit the bean type you're using. Ground coffee is delivered to the brew unit and the machine. It's the little barista that does all the work for you. After brewing, spent grounds go to the used coffee drawer, which holds the results of 15 brew cycles. The drip tray is gonna slide out for easy emptying of excess water and used coffee. So let me take you through making my favorite drink, the flat white on Magenta Plus. First, I made a double shot of espresso. The flat white is a coffee forward milk drink, so I made my double by selecting two one ounce espressos set to the third strength level. The machine will grind about eight grams of coffee at that setting for each single, giving me a total coffee dose of about 16 grams. With my espresso made, I touch for steam and press the start button. 
takes about 30 seconds for the machine to get up to steam temperature. So while it's heating, I'll fill my frothing pitcher with about four ounces of cold milk. I know from experience that's about one finger width below where the spout starts in this pitcher. Before steaming, you want to purge the wand of any condensation. So I wait until the machine makes steam and have a towel and drip tray to catch any water. As soon as I get pure steam, I press stop. Then I position the wand in the pitcher so the steam tip is ever so slightly below the surface of the milk. Select steam again and press start. As the steam starts, I keep that tip very close to the surface of the milk. This causes air to be brought into the milk. As the milk expands with the added air, I lower the pitcher to keep the tip very near the surface so air continues to be added to the milk. I'm also angling the pitcher so the milk swirls, which helps break up bubbles for a very finely textured microfoam, which gives you that creamy mouthfeel in the finished drink. Once I feel the outside of the pitcher start to warm up, I keep the pitcher in the same position and allow the milk to expand over the tip. That's gonna stop the addition of air to the milk. From there, I keep that swirl going to break up larger bubbles and continue heating the milk until the pitcher warms to the point it's getting a little uncomfortable to hold. At that point, the milk's about 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature which brings out the most apparent sweetness in the milk. After I'm up to my desired temp, I press stop while keeping the tip in the milk. When the steam stops, I remove the pitcher and wipe down the wand. The last step in steaming is to purge the wand to push out any milk. For that, I'll select hot water on the machine and press start. I'll put my towel on a drip tray to catch the moisture and let that go until I get water out of the wand. Then press stop and give the wand one last wipe down. Always purge your wand after steaming. Before pouring, you can give the pitcher some knocks on the counter and swirls if needed to break up any larger bubbles and create a uniform texture. From there, pour the milk in the center of the espresso, give it a swirl, then continue pouring the rest of the milk gently into the espresso. Now, you can go for the latte art if you want, but I prefer my drink with a slight cap of foam on top and art or not, this flat white is delicious with a sweet, creamy mouthfeel from the finely textured milk. My favorite coffee on this machine is the Americano. It's what coffee geeks like me are drinking for its unique flavor profile. If not familiar, it's espresso with pure hot water mixed over the top. Made on the magenta, it's done right. A shot of espresso is extracted and then pure hot water is added. The result is a coffee with pure flavors from the bean and a little less caffeine than a regular coffee made from the same amount of grounds due to the shorter contact time of brew water with the coffee. Some other features of the Magenta Plus, if you like hot drinks, you'll like this machine. Long coffees are delivered in a range of 175 to 190 degrees on high setting. Now, I've used a lot of bean to cup machines, and along with Gaja's Cadorna machines, the Magenta Plus is one of the few, which I sometimes turn the coffee temp down from high to medium. As I did for the flat white, I like to froth the milk sweet point at about 140 degrees, but some do want it hotter. And since you're frothing with a commercial style wand on the Magenta Plus, you can go to whatever temperature you prefer. Now, if you're tight on counter space, the Magenta Plus at just 8.8 .8 inches wide is one of the narrowest machines available. Height to the top of the display is 14.1 inches, and you'll need about 17 and a quarter inches to open the access doors to the removable 60 ounce water reservoir and the bean hopper, which holds a little over one half pound of coffee. Coffee spouts are adjustable and you fit taller to go cups like this Camelback with five and three quarter inches of clearance under those. A removable platform holds shorter cups near to the spouts to reduce splashing when using those. With a color touch display, easy programming, and capabilities typically reserved for more expensive machines like the True Americano, the Gaja Magenta Plus is an excellent value in super automatic espresso machines. The machine comes with a two year warranty, and users they regularly report in excess of 15,000 brew cycles with regular maintenance on these type of machines. That's the Gaja Magenta Plus. It's available now from Whole Lot They Love. If you have questions on this machine or anything coffee, use those comments and I'll get you a detailed answer. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. I do hope you'll subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.